Hey everybody, Rocky Mountain here. It's time for a vlog. Today is September 9th. Uh, September 1st, some new laws changed here in Canada. And I thought maybe we would do some vaping. maybe talk about these new laws. First off, I got my Kanger Top Tank Nano. I got Soros Coil and Cloud go on here. So, let's start with this. Uh, I got my thing with my uh, website up here. As of September 1st, British Columbia vapors are no longer able to vape anywhere that smoking is prohibited. It includes parks, bend, beaches, workplaces, vaping in a car with a passenger younger than 16, and no more than two customers in a vape shop may sample products at one time. That's sort of weird. Talk about them trying to stop us from vaping while vaping. That's awesome. This Soros is a uh, strawberry horchata with ice cream flavored from Cloud and Cloud. Real tasty stuff. Uh, the Cayman Province's Tobacco and Vapor Control Act went into effect September 1st. Uh, the act is designed protect youth from the unknown effects of e-cigarette use and becoming addicted to nicotine, which is why it treats e-cigarette use exactly the same as tobacco with the same bans and restrictions. I guess I can sort of understand having to follow the same guidelines as long as they're not referring to it as a tobacco product, but as an entity of its own. Uh, there's some bizarre restrictions. Let's see what we got here. Uh, employees of vapor shops are not allowed to vape at all in their stores. If a store allows people under 19 to enter, all products must be hidden from sight. The alternative is to allow 19 or older only and have the windows frosted or covered so no one can see what's inside. It's sort of like a, something you'd expect from like a porn shop or something, hey? I guess that's pretty much it. Um, as far as I know, there are fines that can be imposed on employees or owners of stores if they vape in the stores. But customers themselves seem to be okay, which I guess I'm okay with. Uh, Mark Tyndall, the executive medical director of the BC Center of Disease Control, wrote an editorial for the Global Mail that showed evidence of a fairly progressive point of view regarding vaping, which is something I like. It is the right of every smoker to use a product that is safer, up to 95% safer, according to a report from the Britain's Royal College of Physicians. Uh, while we continue to collect information on long-term health and social effects of e-cigarettes, it is very clear that the long-term effect of smoking tobacco is chronic illness and death. While this legislation is designed to prevent nicotine and vapor exposure among young people, it is now time to focus on how e-cigarettes can be used to help the people in our communities who will otherwise be dying of smoke inhalation. I like that. For the most part, it's a lot better than what we see in the States from the FDA. Other than that, I don't see to, to see too much more written here about the laws. Now, I got another one for us to vape here. 
I got my other tank filled up and ready to go here. It's my uh, Cubist tank. You can see that. I got lemon bomb in there from Atomic Vapor. See? Lemon bomb. Pretty good stuff. I'm going to vape on that a little bit too, hey? Eh? We need to turn this up. There we go. See if I can find any more information here. That was from vaping360.com. All right, Global News did an article as well. Let's see what I can find here. Oh, it looks like a video. Yeah, this doesn't really say much. Oh, mom. Three days ago. I've been smoke free for quite a while now. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, it's true. There's not really any evidence to suggest what different long term effects vaping has. But I can tell you in the short term, my breathing has gotten better. Uh, I suffer some sleep from sleep apnea that has lessened uh, when I'm doing exercise or out uh, doing anything that gets my heart racing or I'm using my lungs a lot like riding my bike uh, I don't have a burning dry feeling in my lungs anymore uh, I can go longer without becoming winded uh, I don't have smoker's cough anymore I don't have wheezing when I breathe in deeply or when I sneeze anymore so obviously, it is better. How much better? Who knows? I love vaping. I'm going to continue to do it because it's fun. Uh, the vape family out there are all a great group of people. They all have fun sharing stories and flavors and clouds and builds and you know, all the different mods and batteries and tanks. And... Coils you like to use. It's changed my life for the better. If you're interested in this video, more like it, subscribe, comment.